Well, it's a little rainy and cold out here today, so I figured instead of playing in this wet, let's go inside for a review preview. If you've been following me for a while, you know my life's been a little bit crazy busy lately. Uh, the church that I pastor recently moved locations, and right after we moved, my fourth son was born. So I'm a little behind on some of my reviews. So here's a quick preview. If you see something in this video that you want to see me review later and you're not a subscriber, just go ahead and smash that subscribe button and it's coming to you soon. If you're already a subscriber, just go ahead and use those comments and likes like they're going out of style. So first up, some Tenkara fishing gear. Um, for those of you who've been following for a while, you saw me mention Tenkara fishing in, in the very first episode of Man Stuff Monday. Well, Tenkara fishing, for those of you who are not familiar, it's a f Japanese form of fly fishing with just a simple telescopic rod. I got a few things in the other day from Dragon Tail Tenkara. Here's just the basic uh, Dragon Tail Tenkara setup. Here is a sling strap. Here's my actual fishing rod in here. And here's a tube to protect it in. Now, I'm really excited about this because two of my favorite things to do in the springtime are turkey hunting and trout fishing. And I love the fact that I can smash those two things up together. Uh, for instance, during the first half of turkey season, you can't hunt after noon. So it's perfect time to go out trout fishing. And while you're out there trout fishing, you might get to do a little scouting action on the turkeys. Well, this Tenkara rod, I mean, you, you see how small this fishing rod is when once you shut it, shut it down in telescopic form. I can just throw this in my turkey pack with a few flies and, and some of that basic gear and go right to trout fishing after turkey hunting. I also plan on not only doing an initial review of this rod soon, but also a continual review of this rod all spring, summer, fall long as I fish various streams in the New River Valley of Virginia as well as maybe a few other places. Next up is the Mini Presso. Any of you guys who know me or follow me on Instagram know that I love coffee. And being that I love coffee and I love the outdoors, my favorite place to drink a cup of coffee is in the outdoors. This Mini Presso, as you can see here on the image, um, you basically have the option of making some espresso out in the field. So you... Looking forward to doing an outdoor review on this as well, showing you guys how well this works and enjoying some delicious espresso in the field. Next up is the Primary Arms 1x6 Gen 3 Scope with KISS Radical. KISS does not stand for Keep It Simple Stupid or the other word. It stands for Quick Intelligent Shooting System Radical. I am super excited about this particular one. I was in conversation with some of the guys from Primary Arms uh, about what would go best on my Beowulf. And I'm a huge fan of the ACS reticle that uh, was invented by Primary Arms, and they're famous for that one. And I was thinking about putting an ACS reticle on Frankenwolf. But after a little bit of discussion with them, they told me that I really probably wouldn't be able to access the full usefulness of the ACS reticle with something with a, as limited of range as a Beowulf. They said, however, this KISS reticle was probably absolutely perfect for the Beowulf. In fact, in discussion with one of the fellows from Primary Arms, he whipped out his ballistic calculator and ran the ballistics on my ammo and barrel length and told me exactly what the dopes would be for this KISS reticle and my setup. In addition to that, I'm also looking forward to the Primary Arms scope i also have a primary arms deluxe ar-15 scope mount that i'm looking forward to using that to mount to my 50 beowulf now both the mount and the scope are built tough which is what i need for it for a 50 beowulf in a moment i'll show you my my kick around simmons scope that i used on there just have something to function check my my beowulf with um, i'll show you what happened to it but i'm particularly excited about 
not only the Kiss Radical, but also the way this thing is built. It, I mean, it is, it is overbuilt. It is tough, and I, I am ready to put this thing through its paces. So speaking of Beowulf, here he is, Mr. Frankenwolf himself. You know, one of the number one things I get asked for on YouTube is an update on Frankenwolf, as well as an update on the various components that went into building him. Um, I've held off on on some of the videos because there, there's one component that um, I have not been satisfied with. And as a micro-influencer, I have the luxury of being honest about those things. But at the same time, and I actually want to give this company an opportunity to make right uh, this product. I'm expecting a call from them sometime this week. And um, depending on how things go, you'll hear about uh, this particular component, uh, how this company either helped me fix it or, or whatnot. So um, one thing I want to show you real quick, look at the way my current Simmons scope is on there. That, by the way, the, the Simmons scope, I've probably owned that one since the 90s. Um, and it's just really my kick around scope. Anytime I have a gun that doesn't have an optic on it, I just throw it on there until I, I get a new optic for it. But you notice anything funny about the way it's setting in the rings? Like how it's right up against that? Yeah, that's not the way I set it up. That's the recoil of the Beowulf shifting that thing down. So I'm going to get the Simmons off of there in time to probably rescue it from breaking. <laughs> and I'll just throw that back in the junk pile until I have something else to throw it on. But I'm looking forward to getting the primary arm scope on there. Um, doing a bunch of uh, reloads. I had some guys in some various Facebook forums give me a whole list of ideas of things they want to see me do with the Beowulf as well as some just areas of Beowulf-isms to explore. So there you have it, guys. Here's your review preview. God bless you, and go take your mountain.